Hi guys, welcome Hi. back to another cringy, cringy combo, combo film. I've got all these things I want to discuss in my um, cringy combo bag and then see what Great. you think. And then we're going to go through some of your cringy combos that you sent in to us, which I have read through that are hilarious, but you haven't read them. And sit through the entire oh. afternoon with no underwear oh. on, knowing I just shit myself oh. in public. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to start with a tarot reading. Um, Joe is going to do my tarot reading because I need a bit of clarity on my life at the moment. I think that I'm a psychic. So for anyone who doesn't know me, I often tell random people that I'm a psychic. I'm definitely not, but I feel like I have some kind of feel like intuitive power. Yes. I'm an Aquarius and they're naturally quite intuitive. So but if this if this really happens, maybe this is your career in tarot reading. Might be. We're using the Osho Zen cards. Um, so these are tarot cards. Hannah's going to shuffle them and then we're going to place them into like a placement and we're going to do her reading for her. Right. So shuffle those away, just put your energy into them. And then you're going to pick out five cards. So we're going to start with the um, center card here. So that's the issue. Oh, the burden. The burden. It could be time to shrug your shoulders and see what it feels like to walk without these characters on your back. You have your own mountains to conquer, your own dreams to fulfill, but you will never have the energy to pursue them until you release yourself from all the expectations you've gathered from others that now think are wow. your own. Wow. Wow. Resonates. I think it does. Oh my God. All right, number two, internal influence that you are unable to see. Past lives. Oh. The hands of existence form the shape of the female genitals. <laughs> that is genuinely what this is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> this is a wake up call. The events in your life are trying to show you a pattern as ancient as the journey of your own soul. Okay. So I think that's trying to say that you're like falling into patterns that you've done before in past lives. Okay. <gasps> Nothingness. What the hell? That's really bleak. This reading is, I've never had that card before. Yeah, see, I'm just really powerful. All you can do now is to relax into this nothingness, fall into this silence between the words and treasure the empty moment of the experience. Something sacred is about to be born. Okay. Yep. So right now it's a bit of a nothing period. But mm -hmm. You're about to go into something bigger. Wow. Okay. All right. So then we've got your, um, what is needed for resolution? possibilities do you think people make really big life decisions based off these cards i do <laughs> <laughs> yep yeah but, i broke up with my last yeah, boyfriend based on a i did a reading, reading on him and i thought that's not good this card indicates that you're at a point where a world of possibilities is open to you because you've grown more loving towards yourself more self-contained mm -hmm. you can work easily with others because you are relaxed and at ease, you can recognize possibilities as they present themselves, sometimes even before others can see them. All right. Okay, so our last one here is the resolution, the understanding. What does that mean? Slowing down. Oh my god. Interesting. It is a time when you are ready to let go of any expectations you've had about yourself or other people and to take responsibility for any illusions you might have been carrying. There is no need to do anything but rest in the fullness of who you are right now. There's a lot to unpack there. Read those later at your desk. Thank All right, you. what else is in the props All bag? All right, next. Now, went on a hike on the weekend. Yeah. Speaking of uh, slowing down. Yes. Yeah. I went on a three-day hike, two nights, and I bought this white shirt. I wanted to look stylish. Yeah. As you know, in my last was video. Was this white shirt like from a hiking shop? Yeah. Was this from like it was from Aussie hiking, Disposers? No, 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 it was from a hiking online hiking store. Okay. But you know, I wore in the last video that long white shirt yes. I love. I thought that was what you wore. No. Can't. Are you crazy? Well, I don't know. You, Do you wore know I it wore, all the time. I, I thought for, she loves this I, shirt. I wore it for three <laughs> days and didn't change. Yeah, okay. So it yeah. has to be like, you know, it dries Durable. really quickly yeah. and it's a special hiking shirt. So I brought my shirt along and I want to understand because I wa I've wa it's washed. Okay. But I wanted to understand what the hell... Is, is on the shirt. I can't quite understand. So if this is meant to be a durable shirt, why is it fully stained? <laughs> so can you explain to me what is all of this muck? Is that just my sweat? Does it still smell? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I wore a little bit just under the I wore armpit. It th yeah. I wore it for three days and didn't change. Yeah, that's, I think you need to get some better washing <laughs> detergent. I'm going to be honest so with you. I, I think some oxy action would get that out. Is that fake tan or is that sweat? You should get Nappy Sand to sponsor you. This feels oh, like a Nappy Sand ad. This, oh my God, <laughs> imagine and we'd be like. Yeah, let's do a soak. <laughs> 
So there was a really cute guy at the campsite, and yeah. I wanted to recreate like what I looked like. There. Oh, yeah. Hot. So it was like you know. Yeah. And I was going to the drop toilet. Yeah. Do you know what a drop toilet is? Put a photo up of a drop toilet. I think with everybody a knows what a drop toilet is. So this is this is me on the way to the drop toilet. Yeah. Was this is it a dusk kind of vibe? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because the, so. the drop toilet's quite dark inside. Yes. All right. Yeah. You had to take your headlamp. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just blinded me. So I'm carrying this, and I'm walking past, and I'm like. Oh my god, there's a cute guy. So I like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but also and walking. the dirt stained shirt would have really. Do you like, oh, I like it with the Gucci. With the belt. Gucci, yeah. yeah. So I just wanted to show you what was inside my little toilet bag. Now I've got another story about this toilet bag. So yeah. I've got, um, of course, hand sunny. Yeah. I had um, my toilet roller toilet paper. Yes. And then the Femme Fresh wipes, of course. Yeah. Um, face first, fanny second. Yeah. Don't forget. So he did actually check me out a little bit, yeah. but I don't know whether that was for the right reason. Yes. I think this is a good look. I think it is. You should leave it on. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it on. <laughs> it only smells a tiny bit. No. Yeah. I think maybe a second wash and we'll be good. Yeah, yeah. We'll be able to get another yeah, wear okay. out of that. All right. So now I want to take you through my, my skincare routine yes. on my hike. Heaps of you have been asking about my camping skincare routine. Heaps. Actually, one person did ask. I was like, um, have you ever been camping? Hem fresh wipe. Oh, they're minis. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So wash your face with the wipe. Yes. And that's it. And then and that was and it. And then you do the other area, but you used a separate wipe. Separate you said. wipe for the other area. Okay. Didn't want anyone to think that I was putting the the wipe. That, was, on that it. was just yeah. a, that was just that's just a joke. Okay. Face first, fanny second. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> just just face. Sure it is. Remember, take your rubbish with yeah. you. So I actually had. A also, little... I just want to say that I don't actually approve of this, um, but <laughs> Hannah lives her own life, and you can't control. Now, her. what I did bring with me, but I thought I brought it in this bag. I swear to God, I put it in here. <laughs> Getting an insight into my life. I'm sorry, I did. <laughs> did bring a deluxe sample of the Hunter Lab facial oil, mm -hmm. and I used it on the first night, and then I thought, why? Well, I just go without. I told you to take her face halo, which no. you could just wet with water and then like cleanse your face. No. And you decided to go against me and use the Femme Fresh wipes. Yeah, because that's all I had to bring was this little this little packet. Yeah. Every single gram counts on the trail. Obviously brought a sunscreen and put sunscreen on every yeah. morning. And then I've fully broken out and I actually broke out on my shoulder from the pack. Oh. Is that weird? Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that looks more like, really a, irritated. It's like a sweat rash. Yeah. Yeah, so I got a sweat rash here. My friend had bruises all on her hip. Oh. Um, and then I fully, like, can you see how many pimples? I've got double wear on. No, I can't. But I have, like, big, like, blind pimples. Ooh. Yeah. Anyway, it was worth it. On to the next thing that I've got yes. in my bag. I want to talk to you all about meditation. <laughs> As you know, I do not sleep well. So I've got. Yeah. I've got, I've got also, a, she's not a meditation expert, FYI. <laughs> Just so you know. I can't meditate. And I read online <clears throat> that um, colouring might be a good way yes. to meditate. And so I bought these two books. One's called Release Your Anger, <laughs> and the other's Fitting. called um, Colour My Bollocks, a very adult, adult colouring book. <laughs> I wanted to show Joe some of my artwork. Please do. <laughs> There's one. Oh, that's beautiful, Art Hannah. Hole. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Um, I did that one after my last um, date. Yep. <laughs> Got home and did that before bed. Okay, that room. was after another date. Yep, bastard. Bastard. Yep. Um, that's pretty though. <laughs> that's really nice. <laughs> oh, I, I've got a really inappropriate one here. Do you know what this is? So relaxing, guys. Yeah, I love it. Isn't it nice? I love it. Yes. Yeah. We are going to be covering this exact topic. I haven't done this one yet, but that's queef. Yes. Isn't it and that's exactly what we're going to be covering. So you need to you need to do yeah. that one. Now, on the topic of sleep, I've got another one. Yeah. I've got another oh, okay. sleep thing. No wonder the bag was big. Because I don't sleep well, um, I was buying these eye like heat like heat masks. Yeah. Um, online. And they were really expensive. Mm. And so I found a cheaper version. These are cow steam, gentle steam eye masks. And these ones, um, I always wake up in the next morning and I get ready for work. And it's, I forgot that I put it on the night before. Yeah. Oh, do you take it off in your sleep? No, it falls off oh. in my sleep. Oh, so they're individually packaged. Shh. I don't use them every night. <laughs> <laughs> 
and are single-handedly contributing to global warming. <laughs> there are some things in life. I'm a, I'm a minimalist. No, you're not. <laughs> I see where this is going. Oh, this looks I 100% like. see where this is going. <laughs> what is that? I know. Wait, so does that heat up? Do these little things heat yeah, up? So that heats up. So do you rub them or something? No. Oh. Just, it comes in contact with oxygen. Oh, and that's it, why they're packaged. Okay, yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. I go to sleep and then in the middle of the night, it'll like, you know, fall off. So I will then, the next night, forgot that I wore it. I'm like, who's been, who's bad is that? <laughs> <laughs> Whose pad is in my bed? <laughs> I mean, look it wouldn't it. surprise me though if you just had a rogue panty line <laughs> in your bed. <laughs> like, look! Oh, it, that does really get warm, doesn't put on, it? Put it? Keep it on. It really looks like a pad. It really <laughs> does. Oh, that's quite nice though. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't mind that. If you're looking for an eye mask, yeah. I would. Where'd you Dezo, get this from? Dezo? How yeah. long do they stay warm for? Uh, 15, 20 minutes, I'm pretty oh, sure. Okay, yeah, okay so I'll tell you what's in it. So the heating element is iron powder, and that comes into contact with oxygen, and that's okay. why it heats so up. So it's safe? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's sold in Australia. Yeah. yeah. I'd assume so. All right, on to the last little thing in my... She's still going. I thought that was the last this is thing. Like, this is like show... It is like it show is and tell. It is show and tell. It's like Hannah Hannah's, doing show, Hannah's and show and tell. We obviously have a sex category to door, and I've been sent a shit ton of devices mm -hmm. um, over COVID particularly because we obviously went in the office yeah. and getting samples sent. But these are... My vibrator cords all in a bag that I keep in my bedside table. How many do you have? I know, I was so shocked. That's a lot. Do you know what's really cool? Next gen um, vibrators. This yeah. is how they vibrate. This is how ah, they charge now. So is that just like a magnet? Yeah. Ah. So it's waterproof. That's show and tell done. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. I did. Thank yeah. you so much. Oh. You can go and sit with the rest of the class now. <laughs> Thank you. Are like you going to write Linda a note? <laughs> Hannah's brought some inappropriate paraphernalia to class today. I have got some stories for you that our listeners have kindly sent in. What kicked this off, I was speaking to my dentist the other day and I said, well, it's like the worst thing you've like encountered mm -hmm. being a dentist. And she said that one day a patient came in and they had something stuck in their tooth that they couldn't get out. And they're like, oh, I don't know what it is. And they got in there, had a look, pulled it out. No, and they I... realized that it was a pube. Oh. And, this per and they didn't want to tell the person. And so the person was like, what was it? And they're like, oh, we don't know. Don't worry about oh it. Gotten God. rid of it. It was a long pube. Yeah. Stuck. How lodged would a pube? I've got no idea, but, oh you know, gosh. it was in there. It was really in there. Anyway, so I've got some stories. I'm excited. I'm They're really pretty excited. graphic. I don't know how many of okay. these are going to have to cut out. Okay. All right. You could just beep, like, the whole thing out yeah. and get the reaction. <laughs> this person said, was with a dude who gave me a back slash so shoulder rub while he was sitting on my bum slash lower Wait, back. Wait, start again. Sorry. I okay. was a bit distracted. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> with what? I'm thinking about Colin Farrell. <laughs> <laughs> was with a dude who gave me a back shoulder rub while he was sitting on my bum slash lower back in the nude when he got off me he had to make some weird excuse for me to stay still while he wiped me down with a wet wipe because he had left skitties on my bare innocent skin from not wiping himself properly <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh oh my god some fem fresh much. One time I was getting laser with the anus add on. Love the use of beauty IQ terminology. Yes. And the technician was being super rushed throughout the whole appointment. And I was like, okay. But then when I got home and went to the toilet to pee, when I wiped, and I always wipe both, which I think is an interesting technique, there was a little bit of poo that came away on the toilet paper. And I didn't know if she could have seen that. <laughs> Even though when I'd gone previously, I made sure it was all wiped clean. I have no idea how there was poop still there and it oh. haunts me. <laughs> I would never go back. I would neither. Never yeah. again. I'd definitely go somewhere else. So I was in my laser appointment and I was spreading my bum cheeks so that the laser girl could laser my anus. And in the middle of lasering, the girl pauses in the middle and compliments her nails. So she's got her hand. You know how you have to like <laughs> open it? And the girl's like, oh my God, I love like, your nails. Oh. Which I would appreciate, yes. but you know, most people oh, wouldn't. Like this, like, oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's a really weird time 
in your life. It is. It it's is. a really weird space to be in yeah. when you're that vulnerable, someone's staring, staring directly your, down your bum you. hole yep. Yep. and they compliment yep. your nails. Yep. Yep. Anyway, so this one was my favourite one that came through because it spoke to me personally. All right, so this is going to be a long one, so you've got to, you've got to stay focused okay. on it. I'll meditate. I was at my first day of training for my new job at Mecca back in the day. I was with a bunch of new girls, so I had dressed the part in a dress, all the makeup. I decided to be the epitome of health and have a new coconut yogurt for breakfast. Fast forward to lunchtime with my new co-workers. We're walking back from lunch to the hotel we were training at. In the middle of the CBD, busy lunchtime rush, I felt a twinge in my stomach and innocently trusted a tiny silent fart, <laughs> never having a reason not to trust before. The next minute, I feel liquid down the back of my legs and it touches my thigh. Oh. I'm liquid sh- myself while walking down a busy city street with eight brand new co-workers. Oh my Thank God my dress was long at the back and covered my sh- covered legs. I had to keep walking and pretend nothing was wrong. And then once we got back to the training room, I had to ditch my liquid sh- covered underwear, clean my legs up and sit through the entire oh. afternoon with no underwear on, oh. knowing I'd just sh- myself in public. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, she I said it's her. been seven years and oh, she still has PTSD oh over it. Oh, my God. Oh, I love that. You would fart thinking, I've done this a million yeah. times before. <laughs> There's... I've silently farted heaps of times. Yeah. Don't ever trust no. it. No. Don't ever do it. So this was probably one of my favourite ones. This is the last one I'm going to read out because I, I peaked out like one. my favourites. They're all bum related, I think. <laughs> Um, okay, so one time Just I was really quickly before we start, yeah. I went to the movies with my grandma um, mm. two nights ago, yeah. um, took her to the movies, and she said, I mean, I couldn't listen to that episode with that man talking about bums. Luke Cook. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's not really... I mean, grandma, it's you're not, not really... really you're not really the audience. <laughs> she wasn't impressed. She'll, Sorry, she'll grandma. Love, she'll love this video, though. <laughs> one time I was interviewing staff for a new position, and the girl I was interviewing said that she was a bit of a perfectionist, and like things done a specific way laughed and said i can be a bit anal i'm exactly the same but didn't articulate that to her instead of going in with a me too my response was i love anal (laughs) and i sat in silence for 15 minutes before my co-worker took the rest of the interview over (laughs) i think that that really reminds me of something she did oh my god by the way oh my god i do know what that reminds me of you are just chaos my mum calls a, a blow dryer blowy. This is really common. I got a lot of messages saying their mums are the same. I was standing in line with my mother at a cafe and she said very loudly, have you heard of those blow job bars? <laughs> have you heard of those blow job bars that have opened? What a great idea. <laughs> Reminds me of the time I walked into a hairdresser and asked if they had a time for a quick blowjob. <laughs> they would have just been like, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Anyway, oh, well, that's it from us. Yeah. Bit of chaos for your morning or afternoon whenever you're watching this. Hope you all have fun hiking. Hope um, you enjoyed Hannah's show. Get out, and get out there in the world and yeah. go discover. Mm. And also, if you'd like a um, psychic reading, please send me a DM because I can offer my services. Yep. Um, obviously, I'll be charging a lot. So, yep. yeah. It was really accurate, so I highly recommend. Mm. If you don't already listen to the podcast, head to Beauty IQ Uncensored on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your podcast. Only if you liked this Only video. Only if you like this video. <laughs> Otherwise, don't even bother because you'll hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma. <laughs>